The Guide to Community Preventive Services. What Works to Promote Health presents The Community Guide in Action. Creating Walkable Communities in Rural Granville County, North Carolina. The Community Guide includes task force findings and recommendations to reduce obesity and increase physical activity. Obesity is a growing health problem in the United States, and barely half of U.S. adults and a third of high school students meet current physical activity standards. We know that increasing physical activity is one way to combat obesity and the chronic diseases associated with it. We also know that people need safe, convenient, and pleasant places to be physically active. Granville County, North Carolina is addressing this challenge by using task force recommendations for environmental and policy approaches to promote physical activity. The Granville Greenways Master Plan outlines a built environment that promotes active lifestyles by providing places for people to be physically active. Our Greenways Master Plan is, is an overall plan that looks at the entire county um, and, and looks at areas where we can make connecting points uh, not only locally but nationally. The process started locally and then as it grew um, it looked at how can we tie in as well um, to those existing trails. What are those factors that are detriments? Uh, to the community's health and how can we address those and this was one of those things that fit right in. My role in the Greenways Project began when I was the primary coordinator for our community health assessment process here in Granville County. At the end of that process we had determined a number of priority areas to focus on. One of them uh, was uh, abating the premature death rate from various chronic diseases, heart disease, cancer, and diabetes were the key areas. We formed a work group uh, to address these problems and determined that we wanted to do environmental and policy change interventions to try to make an impact on the early death rate from chronic disease. One of the resources that I used was the community guide, which helps inform those of us working in public health about the types of interventions that can actually make a difference, and that led us to uh, creating or increasing access to places for physical activity. The people in Granville County have been, for the most part, very receptive to these. We've had some individual cases, property owners who, uh, you know, been sort of anti-trails because they did not want them crossing their property. But uh, presently, we have two completed trails in Granville County. The first one we built was built in Butner and it was built mostly on public property, state property. And once we built that one, and people realized how beneficial they were. People are very much in favor of greenways if they're over there, but not if they have a concern that they're coming in their backyard. But as we move forward and more and more trails get on the ground, people, I think, will see what the outcome is of the trail and be less and less worried that the, something negative is going to come to their neighborhood. The town of Butner and the county of Greenville County had contacted us about putting the Greenway through our property. And since I was aware of how well the Greenways worked in my town, I thought that would be a good thing for the company to support them. Now that it's been open for a few months, it really surprises all of us how often people use it and how popular it's become even in a short period of time. So all our employees have opportunity now of a good, clean place to walk that you don't have to worry about snakes or mud. It's a nice area. We had a wide variety of stakeholders in our, it was called the Health Promotion Work Group at that time. We had members from the faith community. We had members uh, from various municipalities in, throughout the county. Yeah, the school system, the health system, um, the health department, lots of people involved. The Greenways and Butner really got started as part of the Granville County Master Plan. And once we incorporated, Granville County approached us with some grant opportunities that, as a local government, that we could pursue. Butner doesn't have a lot of sidewalks. There is, I would say, eight to ten blocks of sidewalk within the entire town. Originally, Butner was originally Camp Butner, World War II training camp, and there were a lot of asphalt sidewalks, and property owners wanted them removed. Now property owners want them back, so that's been a big initiative, is connecting to the existing sidewalks.
I thought the Greenways were excellent. I'm thrilled because Greenways really, they're more than, than just one component. There's so many things to Greenways. They help with transportation, which improves air quality as well as reducing congestion on the roadways. They provide recreation, but then they also have a health benefit. I saw the Greenway Initiative as a uh, good way for a school and community to uh, come together for a, a good cause. Now that the school trail is in operation between the Butner Stem Middle School and the Butner Stem Elementary School, I think it's, it's a great idea. We have uh, people using it, and there has been no negative uh, responses from anyone since it's been uh, in operation. After learning more about the community guide and what it can bring to bear on um, impacts and outcomes, uh, the Board of Health, we now, the Granville Vance District Health Department, does have a policy that says that we should look to the community guide as our basis before we move, move forward. Why wouldn't we want to use the community guide as our primary resource, as the first place you look to, to see what are the ideas that work, what, are, what is recommended. It seems so obvious that we would wanna see what has already been proven to make a difference. We wanna use evidence-based practices, look to a resource that is objective and has good information, and see if there's something in there that you can take away and apply to your own jurisdiction. I feel so lucky that I knew about the community guide when I first started this work because I'm not sure that we would be where we are today with progress with Greenways in Granville County had I not gotten the information from the community guide about the value of creating and increasing accesses, access to places to be physically active. Granville County in North Carolina used the following task force findings and recommendations on promoting physical activity. Creation of or enhanced access to places for physical activity combined with informational outreach activities, community scale urban design and land use policies, street scale urban design and land use policies, and transportation and travel policies and practices. The Guide to Community Preventive Services is an essential resource for people who want to know what works in public health. It provides evidence-based findings and recommendations from the Community Preventive Services Task Force about community preventive services, programs, and policies to improve health. The Task Force is an independent, non-federal, unpaid group of public health and prevention experts. It bases its findings and recommendations on systematic reviews of the scientific literature. With oversight from the task force, scientists and subject matter experts from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention conduct these reviews in collaboration with a wide range of government, academic, policy, and practice-based partners. Find out what works to promote health and safety in your community. The Community Guide includes evidence-based task force findings and recommendations, systematic review methods, interventions on more than 20 public health topic areas, information on how to use the community guide, and more. You can also sign up to get email notices when new information of interest to you is posted. Visit the Community Guide website at www.thecommunityguide.org.